I can't even play, I can't even joke you around, man. It's not easy being nice in this world, man. I'm a pretty tough dude, I'm a real cautious guy. But it's not easy being nice in this world. You know, I, I just want, I'm just realizing that, man, I, I naturally didn't really have to, I didn't really have to act too tough because a lot of people knew that I could switch up on a dime when I feel disrespected. But you get tired of that at the workplace and you get tired of that in places of business that you gotta constantly pull people up. But you, now I understand, it took a long time for me to understand why a lot of people act tough. They show their worst side before they show their best side because people don't appreciate a yes unless a no is in front of it. Everywhere you go, you be unappreciated unless you, unless people feel uncomfortable. People treat you better when they feel uncomfortable, when they feel uncomfortable around you. Because, well, when you, uh, you make people comfortable, they feel like they can, you don't give them no boundaries. You gotta make people feel uncomfortable. So when you do give them a little leeway, they appreciate it. You know, I'm, I just don't operate like that. It's sad that you have to tame people. You have to teach people how to treat you because they'll treat you anyway. People are just not, in this world, most people are just not naturally good people. Baby, I believe it's the devil. You have to t actually treat people, teach people how to treat you or else they'll disrespect you, say anything around you. You can be the toughest guy in the world, but if they think you're trying to be nice, they're gonna, um, you're gonna get the short end of the stick. If they think you need them, you're gonna get the short end of the stick. You gotta come across, I'm starting to understand other people's behavior that, a lot of these people learned this stuff at an early age. At an early age, they learned that. At an early age, they learned that uh, if they quiet, the less people know about them, the better they get treated. You know, some of this stuff comes at an early age. I mean, it could be in a DNA because somebody in their family, one of their parents learned it and that memory is in their blood. So a lot of times you can learn stuff <clears throat> from your, it's already in your bloodline because blood got memory in it. Everything is a downloading system. When you, you know, when a man get a woman pregnant, he's downloading his history, his physical memory, spiritual memory, mental memory, all that down, getting downloaded into that egg. It's deeper than what we, most people ever understand. So, a lot of people are downloaded with stuff that they don't know. They downloaded with curses. Some people are downloaded with blessings. But in this world, man, people don't really, <laughs> They don't really care about you, man. You gotta teach people to treat you right. And it's not even coming from their heart. You just taming them that you're not going for anything. The moment they sense, see weakness, sense weakness, or anything, they uh, they gonna take advantage of it. The moment they smell weakness, the moment they smell that you need them, <laughs> the moment they smell that you need them or think you need them they act funny I'm an extrovert I'm an outgoing, outgoing guy and I I'm a real loving guy that speak my mind and wear my heart on my sleeve but uh, in this world man uh People don't appreciate 
They don't appreciate you, man. They only appreciate you when they know for a fact that you don't need them and you can do without. These people are very, very jealous people. And this can go for your family, your so-called best friends, anything. We live in a very, very interesting reality that uh, causes people to shut down. A lot of people are shutting down, man. A lot of people are shutting down because they shutting down because they realize that people don't appreciate it. They don't appreciate the fact that they are real. They don't appreciate the fact that, you know, they don't appreciate a lot of stuff. They're not gonna appreciate you unless they feel like you better than them or unless they feel like they about to lose you. And that's when, that's when they're gonna appreciate you. I'm trying to decide if I should eat some Popeyes or Chick-fil-A. What y'all think I should eat, Popeyes or Chick-fil-A? But we live in this world, y'all. We live in this world where people, they're always looking for weakness, especially if they sense strength. They wanna gang up on strength. If they feel any kind of uncomfortableness around you, they wanna gang up on that. You know, they can't put their finger on it. They can't quite put their finger on it, but they want to gang up. They want to gang up on it. They want to gang up on it, and um, I think I'm gonna get me a fish sandwich. That's what I'm gonna get. A fish sandwich. They want to gang up on it. I'll walk around first. They'll gang up on you if they sense strength. Especially when you, they sense, they sense strength on you and you, they think you're on their level. You're on their level on paper, but they feel like, they feel that you're above. You haven't said nothing to them. But there's certain things about your personality that they can't see themselves doing. Because they might not be as outgoing as you or, or they may not be as nonchalant about certain things or have the strength to do certain things or not care about what people think. So they get mad that they, not, they don't feel as free as you. They feel people, a lot of people feel enslaved in their own body. They feel trapped. They operate under fear. So they don't, they want you to second guess yourself like they always second guess they self. If you, if you constantly showing a lot of confidence and they, they feel like they gotta have all this stuff in order to feel like you and you don't have none of that stuff and you feel confident why are you feeling so confident? They trying to figure out why are you feeling so conf confident and you got the same thing I got and you feel more confident than me. <clears throat> That's because they base their worth on material things and you base your worth. You don't base your worth on none of that stuff. You base your worth on God, Jesus. But they still they can't put their finger on it. They can't understand it. They just can't understand it. They try their best to understand it, but they just can't. People, they're gonna treat you better as long as they don't know you that well, and as long as they feel uncomfortable. And uh, sometimes you gotta put people, you gotta firmly put people in their place. Firmly, but as nicely as you can, but firmly. You gotta put them in their place or else they'll take it too far where if you, people think you're too nice, it can get dangerous, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, y'all know who I am. I'm Alan Williams, the Realionaire. I'm all online. Make sure you spell Realionaire right when you look me up. 
Don't forget to press like, follow, subscribe. Remember, I love you, but Jesus love you more. Share this to your uh, social media. If you know somebody need to hear this, know somebody that's being too nice and they need to kind of be firm with people to get more respect, even though they don't, they're not on that type of stuff. Tell them go ahead and do it. Alan Williams, a really did much love to you. Press the like, subscribe, press the bell for the next video. And I'm your boy Simon, the only 13 year old with a full beard.